a truly warm welcome to the premiere episode of the USAID Bulletin. Today is January 1st, 2021 and I am Meena Tariq. The USAID Bulletin is a new program from USAID Pakistan, which you can watch every week in English and in Urdu on our social media platforms. In this bulletin, we will be talking about the partnership between Pakistan and the United States in various fields of common interest. So moving to our first segment, in today's bulletin, let's have a look at the year 2020. And for that, we have with us Tosi Heather and USAID's Mission Director to Pakistan, Julie Quinn. Over to you, Tosi. Thank you, Meena. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this special session of USAID's social media. Happy New Year to all of you. Happy New Year to all of you who are watching us in Pakistan or anywhere in the world. And today we are starting a very interesting, a very unique uh, program for you, which, say, which, which is entitled USAID Bulletin. And it says it's a bulletin. So later in the program, I'm going to tell you, and Mina is also going to tell you a little more detail about what it is. But I'm so very happy that at a, as a curtain raiser in the first episode, I'm, jo I'm joined by uh, Ms. Julie Conan, who is the Mission Director of USAID in Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum, a very good evening and a happy new year, Julie. How are you doing? Wa alaikum assalam. It's so great to see you again, Tasik, and happy new year to you and your family. Thank you very much. Uh, this New Year's is a little different for you. I'm very happy that you are you're spending your holidays here in Pakistan with all of us, but you're away from your family. Uh, how has been the experience uh, this time being you know, being away from the family in COVID times? This coronavirus has taught us many lessons, and I think staying away from the family is one of them. It's true. So I think that even if I were in the United States, I would still be away from them. So instead, I'm here in Pakistan and we've been able to be in touch just through this kind of a medium. And I've been able to enjoy Islamabad and Pakistan and my, my friends and colleagues here for the holidays this time, which makes it very special and unique also. I know. So let's talk about 2020. Uh, how would you how would you sum it up for us? Oh, 2020 is one for the record books, I think. And I think that uh, we will all sum it up as a challenge and a, an experience that, that tested us. Uh, the, of course, the coronavirus was, was something that affected not only the health of millions of people, but it affected all of us in so many different ways, whether we could fly on an airplane, whether we could uh, do our work in the normal way. It, it created our... It, it, uh, spurred our creativity to find new ways to work and to operate and connect with our friends and colleagues. Uh, do, you, do you make uh, New Year resolutions? Personally, I remember when we were students, we used, we used to, as children, we used to make New Year resolutions. Do you do that? You know, I normally don't, but I think this year I will, just because 2020 has been such a learning experience for me. And the things that we took for granted, like sitting with friends in a restaurant or or mm -hmm. holding your mother or uh, sitting with colleagues and sharing ideas in person or flying without uh, any kind of worry on an airplane or children going to school. All of those things that used to seem so normal now spe seem very special and very sacred. Mm -hmm. And so me, my New Year's resolution is just to appreciate those things that we used to take for granted so much and really cherish them and really focus on on cherishing those things that seem so small but so wonderful. And as a mission director, USAID Pakistan, what would you like to see in 2021? Well, I think that number one that I would like to see in 2021 is the COVID vaccine being available to everyone. I think then we'll be able to get on with our lives and get back to whatever version of normal will exist after this COVID uh, pandemic is under control. So that has to be number one. I would like to be have us back in the office. I would like to, for us to be back in the communities and being able to meet with people in person. So I think that's really the number one goal for me. True, true. Uh, tonight we are launching USAID Bulletin. In a little while, I and Mina are going to uh, tell uh, the details about that. But uh, today you are uh, taking this opportunity to talk to your followers, your social media followers. What is your message to them? Well, my message is uh, we're looking forward to, to continuing to 
lift lives and build communities, that we will not be stopped by a pandemic. Uh, whatever challenge comes up, we're all gonna find ways to continue our work and to serve the communities and the people that, that are so important to us. Very correct, very true. And I think uh, Pakistanis, and you will agree that we are a very resilient nation. Uh, we always uh, stand together in, in any of the hard times, be it mm -hmm. earthquakes, be it floods, be it COVID-19 coronavirus. So we are a very resilient nation. What do you think? I absolutely agree. And I've been here through those times when there have been earthquakes and floods. And I'm, I'm always amazed at how the resilience brings people back maybe not precisely the same way, but sometimes even better, that they've discovered yeah. something in themselves and a strength and a resilience that they, they can uh, succeed and persevere. I absolutely agree. Julie, thank you so much for your time. And uh, friends, uh, stay in tune, stay with us. Uh, in a little while, uh, we are going to share with you the details of the USAID Bulletin. Uh, this is the first episode, but every week, what are you going to experience and watch uh, in this uh, special program that we are launching tonight. Julie, have a great year ahead. Merry Christmas, all the best. Happy New Year, thank you. Thank you, so lovely seeing you again. All right, uh, friends, it's back to Mina in the studios. Thank you so much for seeking Julie. Now, let's take a quick look at what USAID has been doing in Pakistan in 2020. some highlights from USAID's work in Pakistan over the last one year. And with this, our bulletin today comes to an end. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to your comments and your suggestions in the comment section below. for more updates on U.S.-Pakistan's partnership in our next bulletin.